the present problem is the third problem in the set of the problems on transmission lines and uh, this problem is of year 2016 uh, basically this uh, problem has two cascaded sections of line uh, in where input reflection question the input is given and uh, one has to find uh, the length of the unknown uh, line section okay we just uh, uh, look into the problem here we read the problem uh, this is of grade 2016 this problem is of two marks and it's on transmission lines we read out the problem a micro circuit consisting of lossless transmission line t1 and t2 is uh, shown in the figure the plot shown shows the magnitude of the input reflection coefficient gamma as a function of frequency f the phase velocity of the signal in transmission line is 2 in 10 per 8 meters per second okay you just look into the uh, corresponding figures uh, given along with the problem uh, it says there uh, there are two sections of the line lengths one section is t1 here t1 having a length of 1 meter with characteristic impedance of 50 ohms and uh, there is another section of line t2 having length l having the characteristic of 50 ohms the outer conductor of the line is grounded and uh, the this end of the line is open circuited at the input here the reflection coefficient uh, is indicated and the plot of reflection coefficient is uh, given here in this figure uh, this basically the magnitude of the reflection coefficient and so is a function of frequency and we notice here uh, this uh, variation is uh, more or less like a sinusoidal variation it shows that at 1 gigahertz the reflection coefficient is uh, 0 similarly at 2 gigahertz the reflection coefficient is 0 and so on and the reflection coefficient has a value of 1 at 0.5 gigahertz 1.5 gigahertz and so on so what we have to determine here is we have to determine the length of this unknown section of transmission line okay so now we look into the solution here uh, what we have done here we have redrawn uh, this transmission line uh, and diagram in a little uh, simpler form uh, here uh, this is the length uh, uh, L of this section here the T2 line and this end of the line is open uh, the characteristic component of the line is uh, 50 ohms that we call it ZO2 because this is a T2 section so we call it ZO2 of 50 ohms then at the input of this uh, length of line uh, there is a 50 ohm connected then there is another section of the line which have length 1 meter and also having the characteristic components indicated here as ZO1 that is 50 ohms and gamma being the reflection question which is given now uh, if you look uh, into this figure start uh, from this open end since the line is open ended having a length of L uh, we can find the input impedance of this length of line as input impedance is uh, minus J Z02 the characteristic impedance card of beta L beta L this is the capital L basically card of beta L so length of the line so this would be the input impedance of this section of line now 50 ohm is connected in parallel to this line so the impedance looking into the line would be like Z2 would be 50 ohms in parallel with minus J50 cot of beta L ok so now this, this we call as equation 1 and uh, now we see that uh, in the problem it says that input reflection coefficient as a function of frequency plot is given so uh, we find the relation for reflection coefficient uh, that magnitude reflection coefficient given by uh, for this length of line reflection coefficient would be given as this the load so this is z2 is the load here 
that 2 minus zero 1 is the characteristic components of the line so that 2 minus zero 1 was that 2 plus zero 1 and uh, magnitude of the friction noise so this will be magnitude and it is said that this is zero the second coefficient is zero here and this is zero at 1 gigahertz 2 gigahertz and so on oh, so we take the case when the reflection coefficient is zero okay so we make use of this uh, uh, figure to uh, find the reflection coefficient and the, what is the corresponding frequency since the reflection coefficient is zero here so it's only possible when the numerator is zero that is z2 equals to z01 okay so uh, z2 is equal to z01 uh, z2 is equal to z01 means uh, this z2 impedance looking into the line should be equal to z01 that means the characteristic impedance of the line when the line is terminated uh, by its characteristic impedance so uh, uh, we can find from the earlier equation that uh, this z2 was given as 50 in parallel minus j50 cot beta l and that should be equal to 50 ohms as per this assumption if it is 50 ohms then uh, uh, this means the parallel combination of 50 ohms and minus j 50 cot beta l the two impedance have to be 50 ohms how it is possible it's only possible when this impedance is infinite otherwise it's not possible it will always be less than 50 ohms so this is true only if minus j 50 cot beta l is infinite and that means uh, beta l should be equal to multiples multiples of m pi beta l should be m pi m is 0 1 integer 0 1 2 3 and so on so beta is 2 pi by lambda into l this is m pi so if you, so you find out l l is m lambda by 2 m by 2 lambda you can write v by f m by 2 this is velocity of propagation in the line 2 in 10 power 8 f is frequency we take frequency of 1 gigahertz here so this would be uh, if you substitute the value of frequency gigahertz it will be m by 10 m is an integer so you can take the it can take the value uh, like 0 1 2 and so on so we take m equals to 1 for m equals to 1 uh, we find the length uh, to be 0.1 meters so what we find here the length is uh, 0.1 meters for 1 gigahertz if you take 2 gigahertz uh, you will find the length will come uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 meters and so on so the multiples of these lengths uh, will give me the same effect because the periodic because length of the transmission line are uh, the properties repeat at multiples so this is the reason so uh, since we have taken frequencies to be 1 gigahertz so this is the value here so it comes out to be 0.1 meter here the unknown line length so this is the answer to this problem it's not multiple choice question it's a problem uh, with the uh, answer